Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Goodwill thrifting video to share with you. I went to the Goodwill stores and then also stopped into the Goodwill bin. So I have a really good haul to share with you after this. Um, there's one piece that I've been waiting to style here on camera with you. So I'm so excited to share that. It's a really gross, rainy, gloomy day outside. So I had to break out the big lights, but that's okay. I cannot wait to show you all this fun little piece that I found. So let's get thrifting and then I'll see you back here for the haul and style. All right, so I'm checking out the carts that they had rolled out first, and I really liked these candlestick holders. They were $8.99 a piece, which isn't terrible, I guess, if you really wanted them. And then I thought this picture was so beautiful. I did purchase this bicycle plant holder for $4.99. I'm actually gonna give it to my mom for her porch. A few of these clips are from an out of town Goodwill where they have all the decor on like the actual racks which is much easier to look through. Um, I don't think I brought anything home this day. Oh, I did want to get this adorable girl to put a little water in it for the birds outside but um, the line was so long and I didn't want to wait just for her. Look at this tiny violin, it's so cute. I'm not sure what it's for, I guess just a decorative piece, but it would have been so pretty at Christmas time on a stack of vintage red and green books. I loved this gorgeous lamp. I really just liked the metal pieces. I think it was $5.99, but the pastel flowers just wouldn't have matched anything in my home. Um, so if it was just a solid white or even just blue flowers, I would have purchased it. All right, we are back at my local Goodwills. So I had this dog figurine in my cart, but right before I checked out, I noticed his entire back leg had been re-glued. So I didn't end up buying it, but I did think it was cute. I love the little spaghetti trim. I know a lot of you love roosters and chickens in your decor, so I always try to share any of those that I see. Mm -hmm. 
I probably would have been going crazy over this find years ago when I only cared about antique farmhouse decor. Now it's not something I would bring home, um, but I still enjoy seeing them when I'm out and I know a lot of y'all really love that as well. So these round casserole dish holders are so cute to raise up a plant with like the little feet on bottom. Um, so if you put your plants in chamber pots like I do, then I think it would just like just add to it and look so beautiful. I need to measure my chamber pot so I can get one next time I come across them. I kind of liked this turkey. I think he was made of resin though, and he's super shiny. He didn't have a price either, so I think I'll just wait to hopefully find a vintage one. I cannot even deal with these. They are gorgeous, $25 each, but so worth it. Definitely just reproduction pieces, but I don't care. I wish I had had the space for them. Okay, and here's just a couple of things that I saw at the Goodwill bins, but next up is the haul and styling. Okay, I'm gonna quickly share the stuff that's not styled. I just have a small pile of stuff and then we'll jump into the decorating. I brought home this cute little, I guess it's a bow. It was $1.99. Um, wherever it was before that was $20, but I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but it's cute. It actually kind of reminds me of an asparagus, and I'm not really sure why. I did get this kind of like wood look frame. I found something kind of similar at Goodwill not long ago, but this one's much prettier. Actually, I think this, this is wood, but isn't that frame so beautiful? 
Um, I'm just a sucker for these dark wood frames, so it's really hard for me to leave them there. This one was $4.99. And then, of course, at the Goodwill bins, if I see vintage linens, um, I feel obligated to rescue them, even if I may not use them. This little green one I thought would just be cute for like a pop of color and pattern. There's a little white one with a crocheted border. Blue one would have been pretty for the winter time when I decorated with a lot of those icy blues. Sorry, because it's so dark, um, this ring light always puts a shadow on the camera. And then this is my favorite. It's like a rectangle shape and it has this really pretty detail on the end here. I saw this gorgeous midnight blue velvet evening bag or clutch at the bottom of a bin and I thought it was so pretty. How in the world do I open it? It has a made in USA sticker on the inside here. I'm trying to show you the actual color but it's looking really dark on camera but I just thought this was too cute to leave behind. Okay, I don't know what the heck this is but when I saw it, I saw potential. I think it's actually just a tray, so I could use it as a tray, but for some reason I was thinking, what if I hung it on the wall like this and used it to hang things from? Like recently I was saying I wanted to display um, prize ribbons in a frame. This would be perfect for that. Or to hang dried little flowers from, I don't know. Of course I got a stack of vintage books. This is a New Testament little Bible. They all just have really great age to them and I love them so much. Okay, now let's get to the fun part, decorating. I'm gonna start with the little fun piece, like the furniture piece that I brought home. Okay, so here it is. I brought home the little phone desk. Um, I've been wanting to find something to put in this corner for a while now. I did have that little, or that like olive, fake olive tree, and then I put like a picture on this wall, and um, it just has been feeling really empty. So I knew I wanted to find a table, or maybe a little corner shelf or something to fill this spot out. So when I saw this little phone bench, I thought that is perfect and it was only $10. Honestly, if it was any more than that, I probably would have left it because it's not 100% my style. It's a little mid-century, um, but for $10, I think I'm just gonna play around with it and have fun with it here for now. And then when I find something I like better, I can move this into another room. Now, y'all don't get upset at me, I am going to add some restore finish to the top of this. I just don't have any yet. Um, so we're just gonna style it anyways. And then here's what the, what is this called? The cushion looks like. I don't mind this because right now it's spring and then summer's coming up so brighter colors are okay for me but I eventually wanna recover this if I can. I'm not sure, I just know this won't go with fall and Christmas if I still have it here. But like I said, I may find something else that I like better. But anyways, let's go ahead and style this little corner. All right, y'all, again, I apologize that the lighting is so harsh, um, but it has been raining so much here. Anyways, um, you saw me add that gorgeous illustration of the dog. I got that at a flea market for $5. And as you can see here, it has the most gorgeous little like dusty sage border around it. I love it so much. And then I added those two um, Italy mirrors that I shared in my last haul. Now to cover up some of the scratches, I'm using a little linen piece here, which I like to put down anyways. But like I mentioned before this, I need to of touch up those scratches. These are some books that I also got from the Goodwill bins. Um, I got four of them and they are busted, but y'all know I like that. I like to mix like feminine romance with a more masculine, like kind of aged look with a lot of wear. Anyways, um, I added this little lamp and I actually almost got rid of this the other day. I'm so glad I didn't. It's so cute, I just didn't have a space for it, so it fits perfect here. And then I'm adding this Capice shade, as well as just a few little spring touches.
right, moving on to the next space that I'm going to decorate. Um, it's in the kitchen on the countertop. Now, from Goodwill, I brought home this little vintage glass, like, personal ice bucket. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I looked it up when I got it home. This thing was filthy. I think someone had a candle in it, so I gave it a really good scrub, and now it's nice and shiny. But when I saw it, I knew I wanted to display vintage and antique um, flatware. So I think it looks good. I put a little sprig of greenery in there as well. Alright, the next thing that I brought home was a lamp. I loved the base on this. It has a very Art Nouveau look to it and I just thought it was so beautiful. I actually DIY'd a lampshade to go with it. The fabric and trim is from Joann's and then I added a little blue tassel. Y'all would have seen this in one of my recent thrift hauls. This is actually in the guest room which I've never shared a complete overview of what the guest room looks like. I'm still working on it um, but this is the side table and I think it looks so cute lots of blues greens and just um, little spaces with pops of color Okay, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!